I'll explain more Good once you. What the God, oh, you, you have every damn cop over here. What the hell is going on? If you can get out of the. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to another NGRP video. Thank you guys for all the love and all the support on the previous videos. I really do appreciate it. And I really hope that you guys like yesterday's Civ video. But today we're going to be doing some more LEO. This one was recorded before the Civ video. But um, I just got around to editing it and putting it up. And I kind of wanted to break up because we did a lot of LEO over the last couple of days. So um, in this one, um, I will have a disclaimer here. I did make a couple mistakes and I um, corrected myself throughout the video or throughout the RP. Um, so for example, the first one, you'll see me call out a code five, but then I kind of like changed my mind because it wasn't really a felony that the person did. Um, and that's that's the reason for those those kind of decisions being reversed. Um, there was some stuff that I wasn't for exactly sure about. So I decided to ask some questions um, off screen. You wouldn't see that, but that was me maybe messaging somebody to ask for clarification and stuff like that there there it, 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 i'm still a little bit um like i don't know a little bit about u.s law and stuff like i mean not say a little bit i know a lot about u.s law but it's not the same as you know everyday stuff here in barbies we follow the british way so it's some things i would need clarification for for example in this one um if we arrest somebody here we can't necessarily release them we have to take them in even if it's for, for, for the 24 hours or until somebody um let them go etc um but you know as you can see here i was allowed to let the, the guy go so that's what i did and um yeah so if you like this video um please drop a like comment subscribe turn on notifications so you know whenever i post and um enjoy the video y'all mm -hmm. oh shit i just caught both of them Five fear forty. I'm gonna have possible ten eighty at this time. Oh shit! We're heading uh, northbound Elgin Avenue. Possible. I got him pulled over. Uh, we're gonna be eight zero four zero uh, northbound Elgin Avenue. This is gonna be a code five stop. No. Nah. I'm gonna code five them because that's that's felony. We're gonna be eight zero eight zero four zero Northbound Elgin Avenue. Um, right outside pill, uh, Pillbox Medical Center. Instantly you want to wait for me drill. to set up spikes or no? Mm, where are you going to be? Let it play out. He's going to run. I know he's going to run. But yeah. which road ahead of us he's going to run to is the question. That's the question. They were flying, bro. Uh, let me lock, are you? Let me lock this plate. We are on the other side. So if you're on the bottom side of Pillbox Hill, we are on the other side on Elgin Avenue. 8040. Cool. Yep. Oh, you're up on top. Mm hmm. Oh. 40 D. I think I'm gonna downgrade from a code five. Five zero forty. Um, I think I'm gonna downgrade from a code five. This unit um open traffic again, and we'll talk to him and see what he does. I still want you in front there in case he um. Just go up further to see if he is gonna run. Five zero forty to seven. Is this have a Romeo 700? Yeah, Can you um link with uh what's your identifier again? 703. 
Could you link with uh, two Romeo seven or three further up the road and get spikes ready in case he runs? I think it is there. He's gonna right. turn left or right though. Sergeant Dev San Andreas just... State Patrol, go. um, gonna be pulling you over for your speed and what looked like you were racing, but I can't even tell that. Uh, you have your license registration proof insurance on you? Oh, you also ran multiple red lights. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I'm arresting him either way. Yeah, there's my, uh, there's my ID. All right, thank you. You mind stepping out the vehicle for me, please? White coupe, I believe. I guess. Can I just stay in the car? No, sir. Uh, all right. You got anything on you to pull me, stick me, or hurt me? Oh, my bad. Uh, oh. Well, I got a. There's a pistol in the uh, glove box. All right, go ahead. Turn around. Put your hands on the top of the. Vehicle, you're gonna push your legs out towards me, and I'm gonna search you. All oh, that's really necessary. Yes. Yeah, you don't gotta grab me like that, man. All right, sir. At this time, I'm gonna be placing you under arrest. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say and do can be used against you in the court of law. You have the right to an attorney. If you cannot afford one, won't be appointed to. But stay San Andreas. I'm arresting you for going 118 in the city. The speed limit on these roads are about 45. That's almost double over the speed limit. Do you understand that? All right, man. Yep. Oh, I thought you was about to do something. Sorry, yeah. I'm gonna search the car. Yeah, there's a pistol in the gov block. I didn't expect them to give up. Honestly. Seven or seven, I'll be back tonight. Seven or three, some traffic. Bro, me neither, but that was unlucky of them to catch what, me. What, what, are the, what, are the, what am I being arrested for? Um, right now it's going to be the speeding. Uh, from a code five, I think he, uh... It's going to be the speeding. I clocked you doing 118. I clocked your friend first at, um, I think 100 and... It was like 110. And I cleared it by accident and then you were the one that I caught afterwards at 118. Uh, I don't think I was going that fast. You sure your radar is calibrated? Yeah, it's calibrated. I got a new one because I just got this car again, so, um, yeah, everything is new. Uh, okay. Alright, just sit tight for me. Mm. Alright, I got the pistol right here. Alright, anything else you find in here? No, not yet. Alright. Alright, Tanner Dalton, that's his name. That that was that was unlucky of him to catch me at that point. That was very very unlucky. The corner. He's got a heavy pistol. Uh -huh, unemployed. All right, the so right arrest. Tanner. Five zero forty Canada ten fifty one eight zero four zero Northbound Algin Avenue, um, outside Bellbox Hill Medical Center. Uh, oh, Bob. Oh, one will be in route. Uh, Let me go get an evidence back. Alright, I'll pop my trunk. Uh, Hill Boss Hill Medical Center is gonna be a zero four zero. Okay. Uh, 
Uh, uh. Alright, in there. Why is it not? Let me go to the penal code instead. Uh, Toe, before you. Toe, leave. Toe. Hold on, hold on. Don't do anything with the Yo, car yet. These. Okay, these locals. I just pushed my flatbed. Yeah, oh don't do anything God. with the car yet. We might have to release this guy. Really? Yeah. Hold on, because. Why well, he has a CCW? Um, no, our, our um, well, the gun is registered, but, um, remember our penal code got updated, so we are no longer arresting people for speeding 100 plus, and the, there's nothing in our penal code stating that I'm to arrest the guy for for his speed. No, I. I don't know if they were having a motor vehicle contest because the vehicles were not side by side um because it clearly was the other guy was winning so um i'm not exactly sure so we might have to release him okay so i'm gonna just go back into the, the penal code and check again before i do anything further um just bring the gun out put it back on the hood and we'll we'll go from there because I know that once I arrest somebody, I can't unarrest them technically, but if it's my mistake from the beginning, then I'll okay. see. Um, so apparently we might have to, I might have to let this guy go. Nick. What's that? Um, because there's nothing in here stating that I'm supposed to, um, arrest somebody. Um, for, yeah, there's no jail time for that. I don't see, I don't see any jail time. Isn't it an arrestable offense though? It used to be, but I'm looking through the, the, the um, the thing and it's stating it's stating just citation punishable by, by citation deal time in seconds and a all right so i know this used to be um something arrestable but for right now in our current pina code there's nothing else unless i get him for reckless driving I got him at 118. Uh, yeah, you could, but that's a huge risk factor right there. Title 11. Artisan. Like, did he jump any curbs or anything when you saw him? Um, no, just basically in and out of traffic, ran a red light, well, multiple, and, and he stopped up at, out here but they were both going over 100 miles an hour going through intersections and that's about it i don't think i saw them jumping any curves or anything like that uh, can you get him for careless careless is also citation Oh, best way right now, then, is just release him, and if he, we see him racing, just arrest him. Uh, yeah, but once somebody's under arrest, you're already supposed to take them out of cuffs. How many uh, okay. uh, lights did he run? Uh, two or three. I couldn't see really. They were going a bit too fast. For them, I'm pretty sure it was about two. At least two. Yeah, now we're in some tricky situation. I mean, you could now. consider that reckless if you want, right? 
Mm, let's see here. Often defined as a mental state in which the driver displays a clear disregard for the rules of the road. The rules of the road. Bro, we know this the guy driver. Trying to suit it, uh, true, uh, common the common procedures, often causing wrecks. Mm. What did you say? Or you could just tack on red light, careless, and. For all we know, this guy could try to sue the agency. Yeah, but I, I, okay. from the definition of reckless driving, I could also get him for reckless driving. Because he had clear disregard for road rules. I don't think Especially that going that fast. Oh, man, the vanilla unicorn. <laughs> huh? Because he just could did a donut in the vanilla sure. unicorn. Who? <laughs> was right here. <laughs> what did you say? I was looking over the penal code um, earlier as well. Hmm. All right. It states that it is um, often Looks defined. A little drunk already. It is often defined as a mental state in which the driver displays clear disregard for the rules of the road. And the way he was driving, I'm thinking that's the way to go. Uh, since I can't get them for the speed anymore. Yeah. Alright, I'll talk to him. Alright, Mr. Oh Dalton. Gosh. Um, can you hear me? Yeah. Alright, here is the dilemma I'm at right now, right? Um, um, before we could have uh, charged somebody for uh, that speed that you were doing, that's why I originally placed you in cuffs for um, uh, saying that I was gonna arrest you for the speed that you were doing. However, um, our penal code got it got updated recently and um, it's saying there's a citation release. However, based on the definition of reckless driving, this which is a misdemeanor, you kind of um, fit all those boxes. So my, which I asked, would you mind telling me what you guys were doing, basically? Come on, let's move it. Uh, I mean, we were just driving. I, I guess I didn't see the light when it turned red. Okay, and what about the speed? I mean, I, I was probably going maybe a little over. I don't think I was going Man, over. Man, he really anything. didn't see me. <laughs> Alright, and where, and when did you see me? Uh, I saw, I think I saw like the white car when I, when I passed you. And then, I don't know, I didn't, I didn't really think it was a police car at first. I saw the white car with like the little orange lettering. I didn't know it was a police car. And then once you... Once I turned the corner and I heard the siren, I looked in my rear view and I saw you, so I pulled over. Okay, and do you have any idea where your friend would have, might have gone? Uh, I don't, I don't know, I just saw him at like a car show and... Just decided to, much. to run the cars through the city? Uh, I mean, we weren't, I mean, we, yeah, we were just driving together. Okay. Nothing more than that. Alright. All right, give me a second here. I'll, uh, I pretty much have already arrested you, so I have to charge you with something. Um, taking you back out of cuffs is probably not in our policy, so I'll talk to you back in a minute. Why not? Why can't? Why can't you just let me out of the car and take the cuffs off? That's it. It doesn't really work like that. It's sort of like um, I read. I've already read you your rights. I've already well, told you um, basically what I would charge you with. And um, you're already yeah, in the back of a car. Stuff. It's not like you submitted anything. Well, it's on my body cam, so I can't. Uh, all right. So, we'll. I'll talk back to you shortly. All right. I'm gonna see if I can reach the colonel. <laughs> Um, this is what I'm gonna do. Since he was lenient, um, I guess this is a learning opportunity for all of us. 
and I'll let you know what the colonel says another time. But for right now, I'm gonna let him off. Um, he's gonna get quite a bit of citations, though. But yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna release him. All right, I'm gonna release them. I'm gonna just get a hefty citation. Seven hours, seven under the last at ten twenty of the uh, orange Nissan was uh, leaving. I know that I read sometime that you can't really unarrest somebody. So, um, yeah, I remember that too, hundred percent. But I don't know what we're going to be doing here. So I. Uh, it's a learning opportunity for everybody, anyway. So. Uh, Alright, so. Super. Red. Oh my god. Profit light violation. I'm going... I'm going over 200 miles an hour right now, but I'm standing completely still. Huh. That's 230. Alright, so super speeder. Profit light violation times two. Curious driving. What else can I get him for? What'd you say, careless, red light, and, um, what else? Careless, red light, and, uh, speeding. Alright, sir, go ahead and step out the car for me, and, um, watch the head. Uh, alright. I don't think that's so. Alright, today is your lucky okay, day. Okay. I'm gonna be releasing you, however. Um, you're gonna get a hefty citation here today for everything that you did. Um, I witnessed you running two traffic lights, at least two. I didn't see a third one. Um, you're also super speeding, basically. And um, the careless driving. You're gonna get be getting four citations, basically, today. Or four charges on your citation. So sit tight for me. Um, Gonna just print it out for you and I'll have you sign sign the citation right. before Sounds you'll good. be able to go. Before you go, um, you'll be allowed to take your weapon off of my hood and drive safer and don't try that again. Alright, I won't. Hey, start I'm gonna clear off. Yeah, go ahead and help them. Alright, you can go ahead and stand in front of my car. Me. User joined your channel. Alright, sir, so today you're gonna be uh my already giving you the charges on the citation, but you're gonna be receiving this. This is not an admission of guilt, this is just written acknowledgement that you have received this citation today and you agree to take care of the citation by either paying it off or going to court and fighting it within 120 days. If you fail to do so, it could result in a bench warrant for your arrest. Do you understand this? Yeah, I understand. Alright, go ahead and sign down here on the dotted line for me. You can retrieve your firearm from off my head. Don't take it out of the bag until uh, you've Got him back into your car. And here's your copy of your citation. You're free to go, sir. Drive safer. Alright, thank you. Have a good one. That is messed up. What's your question? Five safe party, show me 1097. Alright, what's going on, Nick? 
Uh, there were shots fired at the, um... Shots fired at the Vanilla Unicorn. I saw him, I was sitting there, just because I was, and I saw him there, mm -hmm. and he walked in very impaired, stumbling around, then about 15 seconds later, he, um, Open he, fire. Uh, I saw a million people, well, let me just talk when I get here. Okay. Where are you at right now? Behind you. Uh, behind me. I don't see you. Oh, I'm at the scene, sorry. It's scene. Vanilla Unicorn? 9092. Explain more Good once you. What, what the, God, oh, you, you have a, every damn cop over here. What the hell is going on? If you can get out of the car, I'll explain more, alright? I want to completely box him in. Oh, uh, he was man. trying to run. Yeah, he was trying to run. Okay, is there That's anything basically... with the uh, vehicle I should be uh, worried about? Guns, drugs, weapons? Yeah, uh, I have a gun. All right, and where is that? Yeah, this is the suspect. Oh, it's is it, okay, are you threatening me or something? Where's no, no, your Where's I, your I, gun? I, I, I said I'm not a buddy. You should. No, it's, it's in my waistband. So my white. Waistband. All right, which uh, waistband? waistband? The front, back. Y'all might wanna side. Just step back, Wait, maybe. What? Step back. Yeah. The right side. Okay. All right, don't uh, just cross don't be fire. reaching for that. All right. Mind just stepping out of the car. Probably needs good five. I mean, if you ask me what, what if you ask me why, I'll, I'll, I'll have them step out. So I'm, 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 I'm so I'm just, I'm confused on why I'm being asked. So. Sir, step out the vehicle. Like I said, yeah, I. Hey, oh, nope. oh. Okay, thank you. All right, do you mind uh, just walking back over here to the front of this explorer here? I was oh, facing okay. the rain bar there. I was ready for him. <laughs> I was ready for him. Hello? Nope, don't walk towards me. Walk in front of the... Thank you. So, so my, what the fuck? What the fuck? I was ready you for him. Put him in your car. <laughs> I was ready for wait, him. Wait, 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 wait. What's going on? You, you know how to do this. Come on. Oh, everyone's leaving. Really? <laughs> All right. I was I was ready for him. If we that escalated, we didn't have time to come and see. Me for saying you're not too sure. God damn, man! What the no, I, I said I'm not too sure what there. you did inside the vanilla unicorn. All right, so Wait, I, I, we saw I you leaving. We heard my, shots in there, so we were just confused on what's going on. I have open mail, man. I I just went to the two cups, see some squibbles, man. You said that what? What do you say? Might want to do Nighthawk's DUI. He was very impaired when he walked in. All right, Micah, you got it. <laughs> yeah, he also um, he also spun out into this uh, wall here when I uh, was going after him. They're just searching. Ah, oh, he was completely oh, step up. Step. All right, Do you have any? Oh yeah, where's your your gun? All right, y'all you you need me here. In your pocket. Your white, waistband? Pocket, white pocket in my waistband. Y'all need me here. Uh, Nick. Uh, I think we're good, Chad. All right. Oh! Do not pay attention. Five zero forty, 40 is coming back today. Oh! 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 <laughs> God damn! Um, I'm not. My car just did a somersault backflip into the air. <laughs> okay. 
I was wondering why are they yelling? It's all yours, Michael. You literally, you right, almost had a second. car fall on your head. That's what happened. Because no. what happened was that um, I didn't, I wasn't sure if I unlocked my car before I was trying to get in, and in the middle of the get in animation, I tried to un unlock it, and then it just flinged the car in the air. Which is not legit at all. Turn right! Pull it over! Pull it forward some more. He can't on... okay. I'm trying to, my car won't start anymore. Five zero four eight ten eleven nine two nine zero nine two Westbound Davis Avenue, uh, cross of Carson Avenue is going to be on a brown in color uh, full time vehicle, occupied times one additional thirty two. Alright, good night, sir. Sergeant Dev, San Andreas State Patrol, pulling you over for, um, you running down a couple of signs and kept going, and then you also, um, went into oncoming lanes, sort of, like, not really oncoming lanes, but on the train track. Any reason for this? Your car also doesn't look very roadworthy. Yeah. I was gonna take it to my mechanic at the gas station right up there. Yeah. But I called uh, 911 because I was, uh, got jumped my windows and that got busted. I called uh, uh, 911 because I got jumped at 9138. Yeah. No one came. So when my, so I heard through the grapevine, y'all were at a traffic stop up here at 9092. Yeah. Right there at the corner. Yeah. So I was just going to come to you guys instead of you guys coming to me. Okay. All right, you mind stepping out of the vehicle for me? All right, come back over here in front of my car. You got anything on you? Pull me, stick me, or hurt me? I size that Never gun. My gun and my holster. All right, just face away from me. Put your hands behind your head and a lot of your fingers. I'm just gonna search you real quick for my safety and yours. I'm also gonna disarm you. All right, I'm gonna take this gun and I'm gonna rest it on my hood. You understand that? Yep. All right, you can put your hands down now. All right, what's his name on this ID? First name Donnie, last name Smith. Okay. D O N N Y S M I T H. All right, go ahead and tell me what happened, Mr. Smith. I was I uh, stopped at the corner of uh, I nine one three eight, I believe the zip was. Uh -huh, go ahead. Nine one three. And, and out of nowhere, this uh, guy in a reflective vest with like a ID hanging down, and an android came, pulled me out of my car. I thought he was gonna like carjacked me but no he started beating me and I hit a couple punches he got back in his car and drove off okay you know what this guy looked like uh average build he was right guy about 5'9 and 250 pounds 
All right, so this is like 913 is by the vanilla unicorn. The, I believe so. All right, hold on. All right, come come walk over here with me. Yo, what's up, man? What? Press um press F stick. Oh, okay, that's better. All right, walk over here. You see where the lights are up there? Walk in that direction. Yeah. All right, you can see the guy that the the cops over there have. Is that him? Yeah, I can see him. Is that him? No, that's not him. Okay. No. All right, let's go back over here. All right. So you said somebody in a red, uh, in a in a reflective vest. He came and beat you. He thought you thought he was gonna carjack you. So, um, what happened with your car? Why is it smoking and all that? Because I came on some corners too fast and I hit some like concrete poles. Okay. Because after hitting the concrete poles, I was gonna take it to my mechanic. Okay. Are you okay? Do you need any medical assistance? No, I don't. All right, go ahead and lean on the back of your car right there. Oh, it's too tight for me. I'm gonna run your information. Johnny Johnny, he's got a handgun and the plate on this car is the three E way. Okay. Um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to just write this guy the citation for his driving because it's not, it's unacceptable or not acceptable for him to be driving like that. Right. Uh, landmark, Mega Mall. Mega Mall. Nine zero nine two five zero forty. Can I have a ten fifty one nine zero nine two Westbound Davis Avenue for a uh, red coupe. Uh. So what I'm going to give him is here to driving and uh, road for the vehicle. Hmm. Let me check the, I should have checked the vehicle first. Vehicle. All right, it's valid. So, Johnny Smith. Uh, six three. That. Let's try to. Make a mall. Stop location. Nine zero nine two. Davis. Uh, all I'm doing is driving. Uh, 
Mm-mm. Alright sir, unfortunately for you, I'm going to be writing you a citation as well as towing your vehicle. This vehicle is not fit to drive on public roads. So, um, you're, you're going to get a uh, citation today for careless driving as well as an uh, unroadworthy vehicle. I dropped the charge of you taking out the signs, but you're going to have to probably um, help the state pay back for those signs. Do you understand that? Yeah. Okay, so go ahead and sign down here on this citation. This is not admission of guilt. This is just written acknowledgement that if you um, fail to sign this, um, that you agree to take care of this citation within 120 days, either by going to court or paying off the citation. If you fail to do so, that could result in a bench warrant for your arrest. Do you understand this? Yes, I do. Alright, sir, so with that, you're clear to grab all your stuff out of your vehicle and you're free to go. I'll be towing your vehicle. You can get it at the uh, impound lot. Okay. He needs to, yeah. What the fuck? <laughs> Five zero four. Show my town eleven code four. Show me back to eight. Hey, sorry. Seven rounds. Two out. 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 VFU. What's the last part? Last read. Oh, shit. It said what? Is it black and red? I got it. Yeah. I got it. 5040. I have the black and um, it's going to be Southbound Los Santos Freeway 7181. It's going to be loaded onto a white uh, truck. They're going to be 8141 in front of uh, Pillbox Hill Medical Center. I'm waiting until their unit so I can light them up. Copy, I'll be 1097. Good to. Uh, Delta. Uh, 5 Delta. 5 yeah, Cameron. 5042, Romeo 700. Go ahead. Can you go to the house first to see if the owner has any other information? Copy. 
Make a right and pull it over. Why did he come all the way into a parking lot? Five zero forty town eleven eight zero three seven southbound Elgin Avenue inside of a parking lot. Uh, vehicle is gonna be a uh, white in color pickup truck Chevy two thousand fifty. Um, gonna be occupied times two. I have. Five dollar two zero two with me. All That play matches. Yeah. Hey, right, good afternoon, sir. What's up? I'm Sergeant Dev Sanjay State Patrol pulling you over because that vehicle over there's that you have hauling is reported stolen. Yeah. Uh, the can am? What? Yeah, it's reported stolen. What are you. Really? We just bought it like two hours ago. Two hours ago from where? Uh, there was a guy at, um. Uh, what street is that? Uh, uh, fuck. What's the, what's the street name? Um. Uh, Sonora Road. Uh huh. And like I think it's like I think five zero two four uh, Snore Road. Uh huh. Um, uh, we saw an ad for it on Craigslist, and uh, or I'm sorry, on um, on uh, on on Bob's list. So mm -hmm. we went over there to pick it up, and we uh, we inspected it, made sure everything was good, uh, and then he sold it to us. We paid. Uh, I think ten. We paid ten thousand for it. We wrote a check for ten thousand. Um, you said you wrote a we check to the. Yeah, I wrote him a check for ten thousand. You got your checkbook. We went checkbook? Over to the casino to have. Uh, yeah, it's in the. Uh, it's in my. It's in the back seat. All right. All right. Go ahead with your story. So, I mean, we, we picked it up from him. That was about two hours ago. We went down to the uh, casino area to grab lunch, and we were going to head back to uh, my house over in Vespucci. Okay. Now I could have this time we're doing investigation. All right. Is there anything in the vehicle I need to worry about? Uh, No, sir. Okay. First thing, I'm going to need the driver. I'm going to need you to step out. Okay. All right, go ahead, open. You can open the back seat, the back um, door, and grab your checkbook. I need to see that. Okay. All right. All right. Ten four. All right, passenger. All right. Um, come back over here with me, and have your checkbook right. in hand. Yep. All right, thank you. There you go. Sorry uh, for taking so long to pull over. I had to find a parking okay, lot. I can't really pull over to the side of the road with the trailer. That's fine. And the important part uh, is that you pulled you over. Said ID. Yes, sir. Let me look. Through. 
was the bear a check? There you go. Ten... Okay, Jacob. Stand by. Today. You got ID on you while I'm looking through this? Uh, yeah, it's in my wallet. It's in my pocket. Alright. User joined your channel. 5040, can I get a, another unit over here? It's gonna be 8037 right. inside the parking lot. There's my ID. Alright, thank you. Alright, go ahead and just have a seat on my bumper right here. Alright, no problem. Uh team. Alright, this is his vehicle it looked like. Alright, can I, Cameron, can I, oh shit, Cameron, can I have you watch them both, please? Uh, yeah. Alright. You gonna take it down? Um, ooh, I see. Um, no. Just looking at it, make sure there's no damage or anything on it. Can I have you come take my place? I need a break Shaw, this is his trailer. Let's see who does the vehicle belong to. Four, three. Alright, let's go on. User left your channel. By the way, there's a there's a bill of sale on the um, on the center console. He didn't have a title or anything, and it's not registered yet. That's why it's on a trailer. Okay. Um, but he wrote he wrote us a bill of sale, which is on the center. It's on the top of the center console. Can I go and go into the truck and get that? 
Uh, yeah. Okay. Paper on me what was the bill of the report and the amount all right let's look in here So it shows a property as soon as a property right now and um, the ending 86. Okay. All right, sir. There are a couple things right here that are not adding up to me. First thing, okay. your check. You said you wrote a check, correct? Yeah. But your checkbook is new. There's no entries in it at all. Uh, I ripped off the. I mean, I ripped off the check when I gave it to him. Okay. After you rip off a check, you're, you usually have one still in a little copy, you know, from when you put in the pen mark. There's still a little copy that you keep for yourself in your checkbook. Where's that at? Uh, I don't know. I don't. I did my. I don't think my checkbook came with that. I. All checkbooks maybe, come I with don't. that. I can check the truck. Maybe it's in there somewhere. I don't remember seeing another copy. Okay, so I usually checks that often. Usually with a checkbook, right? There's the one that you give the person, and then there's one that that is whatever you write is printed on that little part. You give them the top piece, which is the one that you're writing for the person. The other one is for your safety. And you're bas must... basically what I'm getting here is that you don't have that. Uh, I think, I think I, when I rip, so when I ripped it off, it comes, it, I, I think what happened is when I wrote him the check and I ripped his part off, I think it stuck with, I think my part stuck with his, so I ended up accidentally giving him both of the 
copies. Okay. Yeah, I don't. I don't write checks too often. I only write them when I like buy something like this. So. I mean, I'll do pay on the counter. All right, hold on for me. I'm just gonna go through all my notes, everything that I've taken for the call, and then you'll see what goes on. All right. All right. Let's just look through here. All right. Uh, you there, Nick? Yeah. Okay. So, based on what I'm seeing, seeing here is. His checkbook doesn't have the little piece. You, you ever seen a checkbook, really? I have my own checkbook. I don't have... I heard what you said. I don't have two copies of the same checkbook. What you don't? I, have, I don't have that. What I have is on the top side, because it's, you know, double-sided. On the top side, there's a record keeping, right? So you write what you paid and write who's it for, you know? Okay. Or write what you did. That's what I have. I don't have, like, a copy that I tear it off and keep it for myself. I have a, a bookkeeping thing. Well, you see, that's um, I guess that's a that's a country thing because here in Barbados, whenever we write checks, um, there's like a little piece of thin paper under the actual check where you whenever you write the check, it is printed on that piece of paper, and you don't tear it out your checkbook, you leave it there, and that yeah. just keeps a record of everything that you've all the checks that you made. So see, I just want the way that we keep records, like I said, is the bookkeeping way above the checks. Okay, we don't have like a thin paper but what was the other thing you were thinking um okay so the person said that their vehicle was stolen huh um it was about to sell it to an individual let him take it on a test drive and his friend has been two hours and they're still gone but he has a bill of sale what time did he uh did they what time was the bill of sale for um, does the bill of sale usually say what, what time is on it? You could ask. Maybe he might say there's no time. But if he said it was reported stolen two hours ago, two and a half hours ago, and then if they say the bill of sale was for two and a half hours ago, then I don't know if it might be someone who's upset for not having it or, you know. I'm going to just read know. over everything here. Uh -huh. Um... So the bill still doesn't have a time. My brain is actually busted. So, uh, all right, Nick over here. What do you think? Just keep facing him so we can see him. All right. Um, I'm just going to go over everything that I've seen so far. All right. So the person called that their vehicle was, um, vehicle was stolen about two hours ago, uh, from them and they give, they give the, the guys it for a test drive. They didn't come back with it, etc. I talked to the guy. They said that they bought it two and a half hours ago and that, um, they received a bill of sale. They wrote the check, etc. Um, hold on. Let me go back in my notes. So, um, I thought about the checkbook thing because, um, you know, we're the country that I originally came from. We had checkbooks that are different. So I guess this is different in uh, state of San Andreas. Um, so that's why I asked about that at that time. Uh, let's see here. There is light damage on the truck. There's a little, a little bit of crack on the left fender. And... On the can -Am or the truck? On the can -Am, not the truck. The truck's clean and clear. It's registered to this guy. Um, and the vehicle, the Can-Am, was reported 
stolen. Let's see here. Uh, two and a half hours ago. So it would have been just as they they just um bought it apparently. Took off. So, oh, okay. but they they have a bill bill of sale. So at this point, I, I'm I'm unsure what we should be doing here because. The guy who is the supposed owner is saying that is it, are they supposed to hand over a title or something like that? Because I'm pretty sure he told me that he didn't even have a title. For, for the truck that I that I, I I received, or actually for my uh, my uh, one of my parents' cars actually that that they got a while ago, um, they received a uh, bill of sales from the. Uh, granted, it was an actual user you joined know, your channel car, um, you know. Uh, whatever you call it, but uh, they received the title in the mail about uh, a month later. Okay. So I think it all depends. Sometimes you get it right then and there. Sometimes it, you wait if there has to be transfers that you, has to be made. So it's not exactly always at the same time. Okay. So. Yeah, so more than likely, so it's transfers right now, and that's why they they don't have it because it's taking a while. Okay. So what do you think we should do? Should we let them Does go? The or think the, does the bill of sale has the um, does it have the um, previous owner's signature on it? Yes, it does. This could be a case of like you know, fraud. Could be trying to set them up. Yeah, attempted fraud. Okay. On the, um, previous owner's part. All right. So what are we gonna do here? Are we gonna let them go, or are we gonna just seize the vehicle for further investigation? At least my personal opinion, at least, you know, if the previous RO signed it and they have it, um, I don't really know if there's much that we can do because everything seems, you know, legitimate. At this point, to me, at least, it seems legal. Yeah. You know? They have the, um, the purchase receipt and they have the signature. There's, you know, um, they can't, the owner, the previous owner can't go to court and be like that they stole it from me, but they have a signature. You know what okay. I'm saying? All right, so um, all right, so what I'll do, cause they they have all the documentation, so uh, we'll just let them go. Apologize for the inconvenience, and just make sure we check everything out, and then um, that should be about it. Yeah. I all right, the passenger, he's clean. All right. all right, no problem. Thank you. All right, Mr. Shaw, is it? Yeah. All right, here's going to be your bill of sale back. Um, this might be a case of like the right, previous the owner account. trying to set you all up. Um, everything looks legit from what I can see with your bill of sale and um, everything. Um, sorry about the checkbook stuff. It's just that um, I've never had a checkbook from this country before as soon from the time I got citizenship here and became an officer. So I only remember the checkbooks from my old country. You understand what I'm saying? Oh uh, yeah, it's it's all good. I understand. I heard you guys talking about the title. Um, he didn't have a title. He said when I when we talked to him for a little bit, uh, he said he didn't have the title. He uh, mailed it off to get retitled in a different state, and yeah. lost it in the mail, so he didn't have it. Well, so, you you also I did tell I, me I, that he didn't register yeah, or I, had a title. Yeah, I don't I don't know what's going on. It, it seems very right, suspicious because he gave us a he gave us a discounted price he told me it was just for the fender that mm -hmm. was damaged so i don't know it seemed a little bit on the cheap side though for a can-am usually these things go for a little more expensive than that all right so, so. he might have been trying to to be fraudulent with you guys so just be careful yeah, of that next time um here's your stuff uh, sorry for the okay. inconvenience of stopping you, having you wait this a long time. But you know we got to check all, make sure that things are, are, um, you know, all in order. Yeah, it's all good. I understand. What's gonna happen with the Can Am? Can I keep it or? Yeah, you can keep it. Um, as I said, everything seems legal. You have all the proper documentation in terms of your bill of sale, and it is signed by the previous owner. So basically, the, the ownership has um been transferred over to you so you will be able to keep okay. it today and um just uh 
we'll probably have to contact the previous owner to see what's going on with him because that's that's not right if he's trying to scam you guys or um reporting it stolen as long as as well as your little yeah. your timelines and stuff seem to add up so you have any okay. other questions uh, for me uh no i don't all right uh, um if you're gonna contact a previous owner i'd recommend getting a lawyer to be on the safe side okay yeah i'll i'll probably do that i don't know because the if the you said the plates mark stolen is that how y'all figured it out um okay so we had a call about him saying that he want um that you guys stole it and um during your little test drive and i searched the plate when i first stopped you or i marked it down and I searched it when i got your information and it is marked stolen in our system as well as um uh you're all clean and clear basically okay yeah i'll i'll have to figure something out because i definitely don't want to be riding around with a plate that's marked stolen so i'll uh i'll contact my lawyer and see what we can figure out because i don't know i don't know what all this is about we never we never even took it on you the time out. we started it up make sure it rolled Hello. and that Rip. was it and we loaded it onto the trailer so okay just um just get that sorted out and yeah i do not recommend driving it um while you are yeah are... i'll keep it on the trailer i'm gonna tow it back to my house in vespucci and then uh yeah you should we'll go straight go there. there you should go straight there okay all right you have any other questions nope all right, with that being said, you guys can get all your stuff um, back in order and you're free to go. Okay. All right. Thank you for your, uh, thank you for your help. Here you go, Mr. Williams. No problem. All right. Have a good one. Oh, boy. Five zero forty star call uh, code four. I was going in this back to Nate. I was about to tell him that before they drive it on the road, they've got to get a title and registration to make sure it's not marked stolen, but... Oh. I don't think there's nothing we can do on that, you know? Yeah. Because right. it says... I just looked up a bill of sale, and it says... Uh, I looked up the Georgia DOT bill of sale, mm -hmm. and it literally says, This bill of sale provides evidence that a transaction between the buyer and seller has taken place and that the odometer reading has been declared by the vehicle's seller and acknowledged by the vehicle's purchaser. So there's a month, date, and year seller's full legal name, court order, case number, tax ID number, uh, vehicle description to the uh, new owner. Um, then you have to, uh, the information is required for the purchaser uh, outside of Georgia. Uh, and then you've got the signatures of everyone. Yeah. So if they have all the signatures of everyone who is involved in everything, I don't 